Today we're making grilled pimento cheese sandwiches with bacon. Now we're gonna start off making a pimento cheese spread and then we're gonna make two things with it. I'm gonna show you how to make the grilled sandwich and then I'm gonna show you how to make an appetizer that is absolutely delicious. We're gonna take the same kind of ingredients, put it together and we're gonna make a crispy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside appetizer your guests will love. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. So when you make this recipe for your family or friends, you are gonna make it, right? I hope so. Ask them this, what is a cheese's favorite kind of music? R and Brie. Let's start off by talking about our cheese. That's the primary thing here. So you wanna use sharp cheddar and you wanna use the block, okay? Don't buy the stuff that's already pre shredded because it just doesn't turn out the same and there's other things in there besides cheese. There's mold inhibitors in there and other things. So stay clean, use this. It only takes a few minutes to grate it up. Our next ingredient is Primal Kitchen's avocado mayo. You wanna use this just because it's healthier. The oil, avocado oil is non-inflammatory so it's much better for you than traditional mayo. Next up is some organic, plain, whole fat yogurt. And we're gonna use equal parts of yogurt to mayo. Next up is Tabasco's Chipotle pepper sauce. It has a great smoky flavor, but you can use other sauces if you want. Next is some Worcestershire sauce. Garlic powder is going in next, and I don't really measure it, I just kind of sprinkle a little bit in. It's probably about a half a teaspoon. Now for a little smoky flavor, or more smoky flavor, I'm adding some smoked paprika. Next up is our diced pimentos. These are packed in water and you'll wanna pour them in a strainer so you can get out all the liquid. If you're okay with the size of these, you can just leave them as is, but I like to chop mine a little bit smaller, so that's what I'm gonna do. Then we'll toss those in our bowl. Now the last thing I'm gonna add are some crushed red pepper flakes. But first I'm gonna give this a good mix and you're looking for a consistency, sort of like a nice thick dip, okay? And if it turns out that it's a little too runny for you, just add some more cheese to it or if it's the other direction and it's too thick, then go ahead and add a little more mayo and or yogurt. Now I'm gonna add some of those red pepper flakes and add as much of this as you want depending on your heat tolerance. All right, so this filling is done and I'm just gonna set it aside and we're gonna cook up some bacon. I'm using Applegate bacon here that has no nitrates in it, so I just think that's a little healthier. So I'll place my bacon into a large frying pan over medium heat and just spread them out so they're nice and straight. All right, this looks perfectly done here. This is how I like my bacon, nice and crispy. And I'm gonna take this out and place it onto a paper towel covered plate. And once this cools, I'll chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Here's the bread I'm using. This is just one we get from Costco. Works really well for grilled sandwiches. It's delicious. And if those of you that want to be gluten-free, then you're going to want to pick out your gluten-free bread. This one's called Base Culture, and it's really quite good, actually. Okay, let's put our sandwich together. All right, we'll place some of our cheese pimento on here and spread it out. If you put too much, just keep in mind that as the cheese melts, it does tend to you know, seep out of the sandwich a little bit and get in the pan. All right, we'll add some bacon bits here, little pieces, just spread them all over throughout the sandwich so you get a little piece in every bite. And we'll take this over to the stove and cook it up. To cook up our sandwich, I'm using Kerrygold butter here. This is grass-fed butter. And I'll place some butter on the top of the bread. I'm preheating this grilled cast iron pan to cook my sandwich in because I love those grill marks. And then I'll place more butter on top because we want it to taste delicious. We'll cook this on medium low heat for, you know, as long as it takes to get a nice golden brown bottom. Notice the cheese is starting to ooze out and now it's time to turn it over. Look at that. Now sometimes I like to cover this so that the cheese will get hot and melted a lot quicker, so I'll cover it with a piece of foil, or you, if you have a lid for your pan, you can use that. Once the second side has its grill marks, then you can take it off and slice it up and serve it up. This is delicious. This has some beautiful flavor with that sharp cheddar cheese, the bacon, and the pimentos. You're gonna love this. 
Okay, it's time for Chef Jeff number two. When shouldn't you believe a word your cheese is saying? When it's too good to be true. <laughs> now we're gonna make this delicious appetizer. We're gonna use the same bread, only I'm gonna cut off the crust. This is gonna make it prettier. Then I'm gonna take the bread and cut it into quarters. All right, so let's make one. We'll take a little appetizer size piece of bread. And we add our cheese pimento spread in there. Remember, it's gonna ooze out, so just be prepared for that. A couple pieces of bacon in there. Put the top on it, and this is ready for dipping. So here I have a couple of eggs that I've scrambled, and now I'm gonna re-scramble them again. And we're gonna use this to um, coat our little sandwich. So we're gonna dip it in there, like kind of like French toast, you know? You just wanna coat all the sides and just make sure you rotate it around. And then from there, it's gonna go into some breadcrumbs. Now, I'm using Aaliyah's uh, gluten-free Italian seasoned breadcrumbs for this. So make sure you coat all the sides of your little sandwich here. Just keep rotating it and you can sprinkle them on. But anyway, get them all coated and then once we get all of our little sandwiches made, then we'll take them over and fry them up. All right, now we're ready to cook our little appetizers. I have my this is a medium-sized frying pan. You want to use the smallest one you can get away with because we're going to put a fair amount of oil in there. We want it to be a little bit deep, okay? So medium heat, start off. I'm going to use avocado oil. You can use olive oil if you want. So you can see I covered the bottom of the pan with oil, and then I just added a little bit of butter to it for some extra flavor. So once that gets hot, and it's got to be about 350 degrees, uh, then, then we can start cooking. Once we see that butter start to bubble like that, then we know we can set one in. So you want it to be nice and hot. So I'll add the others to the pan and we'll cook this until they turn a nice golden brown. And it only takes a minute or two to get these to brown up. See here? And just turn it over, nice golden brown. Look at that. It's beautiful, nice and crunchy. And you're even going to want to brown up the edges as well. So you just hold them up on their side and let them cook for just a little bit. Once all the sides are browned up, then we'll just place these on a paper towel covered plate. Here are our little appetizers. They are definitely crunchy on the outside, but right underneath that crunch is this nice fluffiness from the bread, believe it or not. And then you've got the beautiful filling of the cheese, pimento cheese, and it is very delicious. So here's what I wanna know. Are you gonna make this grilled pimento cheese sandwich or are you going to make the appetizer with that crunchy but light exterior? Let me know down in the comments. If you like sandwiches, you got to try my grilled ham and cheese sandwich on sourdough bread. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. All right. And if you know somebody who might enjoy this, share it with them. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe. Cheers.